My name is Louise McNamara, and this program is called All About You. This is the first in a series of programs. The purpose of them is to help you understand more about yourself and about other people, too. Haven't you sometimes wondered about questions like, what's inside me? What am I made of? What keeps me alive? And how did I get to be a baby? Why do I keep outgrowing my clothes? Why do my teeth fall out? What makes me get sick? What happens to all that food I eat? Why do I feel like running and skipping sometimes? Why do some people wear glasses and others wear hearing aids? Why do I feel the way I do? Sometimes mad, sometimes sad, or glad, or afraid. And why do I look like me and not like anybody else? And haven't you wondered why do people keep telling you? Use your head. Use your head. Hmm? Haven't you wondered about questions like these? I thought so. Well, together we're going to try to discover answers to your questions. And perhaps in the end, you'll know what you are, what makes you you, and what keeps you alive, and much, much more. Right now, here's a friend of mine that's going to help us. This is the Tin Man. The Tin Man is a robot. As you can see, he's made of, or supposed to be made of, machine parts. There are buttons and switches. He's made of cogwheels and axles and pistons and put together with nuts and bolts. Inside, he's made of springs and wheels and gears. What can he do? Oh, well, first watch and then tell me. What can he do? Yes, he can walk on two feet, swing his arms, make a noise, and he can go backwards as well as forwards, right. How many of these things can you do? Oh, you can? Show me. Stand up and do it, along with Mr. Tin Man. Ready? Okay, good. Now press your button and sit down again. You certainly can act like a robot or a machine. Now, does that make you a machine, does it? Let me ask you another question. Can the Tin Man do all the things that you can do? Can the Tin Man cut with a pair of scissors? Can he hit a puck with a hockey stick? Can he jump rope? Can the Tin Man read a book? Can he write a letter? No, he can't do any of these things, can he? He can't even eat an ice cream cone, which is too bad. Why? Well, the Tin Man is a robot, and he's not alive. He's not alive, and he doesn't have a brain, but you do. Without a brain, he doesn't know what's going on around him. He can't think. He can't decide how to act, and 
He doesn't have any feelings at all. Now, are you a machine? No way. Because the robot is not alive, and you are alive. In fact, you are more like this ivy plant than you are like the tin man, because the ivy plant is alive. Plants, flowers like the African violet, and fruits and vegetables like this tomato plant are alive too. They can't move around like you do, but they're alive and growing. Are you a plant, a fruit, a flower, a vegetable? <laughs> no, of course not. Well, let's think what other kinds of things are alive. Hmm? Animals. Animals are alive, yes. There are many kinds of animals, and they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. I'll bet you can think of lots of them. Big ones, small ones, some in between. And some are very tiny, like the animals in this pond water. Oh, they're in there. <laughs> they really are. But they're so small that you can't see them without the help of a microscope. So let's take a microscope, which makes things look bigger than they really are and take a look at a drop of pond water. I'll put just one drop on this glass slide, and then focus it so that I can see clearly. What you're going to be seeing is a cucumber-shaped animal called a paramecium. It's a very simple animal and very tiny. There, there it is. Can you see it? It's so simple, really, that it's hardly more than a blob of jelly. You can see the inside as well as the outside. You can see right through it. Now here's another animal, one that you don't need a microscope to see. These furry animals, where are you? Hi, are called gerbils. Maybe you've seen gerbils before. This is peanut butter and jelly. The female gerbil is peanut butter, and the male gerbil is called je jelly. And they can eat and breathe, and as you can see, they can have babies. They have four babies who are only 10 days old. And they can move around and feel things happening to them. Hi. Would you like your nest back? There you are. Now, here's another animal friend of mine. This is Sandy. Sandy is a squirrel monkey. Hi, Sandy. Hi there. See his long tail? That's a prehensile tail. That's a big word, isn't it? Prehensile means grasp. He, with his tail, he can grasp or hold on to things just as well as with his hands. Hey, Sandy, Psst, look. What have I got? Look at his hands. See? Tiny little hands. Sandy, want a cookie? Want a cookie? You deserve it. He'd rather exercise. 